Hi everyone, I'm back again. So for those who don't know, my name is Rosemary and I am a unique presenter. So um, let me start with saying, um, okay, I have all kinds of craziness going on here. I have a shirt that's going to go over this. I'm sorry my connection comes in and out saying it's weak. But um, so this afternoon, my husband has a um, Halloween bowling event. So we're going to go and we're going to dress up a little bit and we're going to go with biker people since, you know, he rides his bike and we do that. So that's what um, I'm going to kind of do here today, a little bit more heavier. So um, I already have my face primed. I'm going to just prime my eyes. Use some primer. And I use it all over the eye and around it. One of them days. Okay. So, eye primer. It looks tan, but it dries clear. No residue or anything like that. Some pretty good stuff. So, I'm going to go with my... Um, thank you. I'm going to go with my concealer now. And this is the color Chiffon. I'll start there. And I do mix my colors. That's just a personal preference that I do. And the next color I use is Velour. And then I just I blend everything in. So, and like I said, I'm going a little bit heavier today on um, makeup, especially like the eyes and stuff like that. Um, I like to use my blending bud because um, for me, I just like the, the way it, it fixes, you know, everything on there, blends in well. Oh, I should have did this first, huh? Gotta pull that back. And I got a little bit on my clip, but that's okay. I'm gonna curl my hair late, later, so. We'll see how that goes. Gotta look fierce. So I just kind of spread it and then pat it in. And I do this so that I could spread easy. Um, and my blending bud is damp. For me, I, I feel like it makes a difference when you do that. When you have it damp, it spreads in. So you could see the difference. And it's all going to blend and um, it'll get in there fine. It does give really good coverage. So, and I'm going to go over my eyes with it too because I'm giving it an extra boost. I don't know why my phone keeps saying that my connection is weak, but I don't know. So, um, where's my brush? Touch my big brush. So I just kind of go like this and blend it in because I probably went too far up on my hairline, but that's okay. Normally, you know, you wouldn't have to do that, but... And it blends in pretty well. I'm not good at, um... <clears throat> Halloween makeup, but I'm sure if you use a really light color compared to your skin tone, you could probably make yourself look very ghostly. So, okay, what I'm gonna do is just let that sit a minute, and 
and I'm going to move on to some eyes. Shoot, I'm dropping stuff all over the place here. It has been one of those, um, one of those days, you know, just where everything and anything could, let me just bend down and get it because I'll forget it's there. And it's something that I kind of want to use or might use. Okay, limited space here. All right, let me put that where it can't roll again. So I'm going to try and use a mix between Victorious and Hopeful Splurge Cream Shadow and Palette Number 3, which are all the pinks. So we're going to kind of go from there and play. So what I'm going to do is take my... Um, I'm going to take my Victorious and I'm going to use that first. I have a brush here that's kind of broken. I'm using it. Hopefully. I might have to use a different. Okay, let's try this side. So I'm using Victorious because it's a um, it's a neutral color. I don't like that first shade of Victorious, um, but it also has like a I don't know. It's kind of like a nude, but it goes really well with um, for mixing colors like pink and so that's why I'm using it because I want to help my colors pop and make it look um, very fierce. And that's also why I put a little bit of concealer on my eyes too. I just want to make sure I get the whole lid because I have my issue here where like it, I feel like it doesn't cover the whole thing. So I try to pay extra attention and go in there So you can see that once I apply this on there, it almost doesn't even look like it's there because it's a really like neutral color. There's no shimmer, it's a matte color. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Then I'm going to go in with my palette three and I'm going to use Tickled. And I'm going to put it in my crease. So I'm going to use my crease brush. I always just blow up the excess. And I'm going to put it right in here. It's a very light, uh, it comes out nice, and they're buildable, so definitely want to build on it. And I always lift my eye because I have hooded lids, so, and sometimes if I go too far up, then it doesn't look right, so. So I like to put it like right, right in the crease and above. I'm just kind of going windshield wiper and a little bit into the lid, but not much. <clears throat> so I'm going to do this side. Making all kinds of noises here. So it's a beautiful day out today. They say it's supposed to hit the um, hit 70, I think, today. So. That would be nice, because I really am not fond of this cold. Yesterday morning it was like 42, I think, but that was early in the morning. 
and then it warmed up later on. I can't tell. It looks like this side needs more. This is like my favorite palette. My favorite colors. I'm more of a pink, a uh, purple person, but when doing eyeshadow, I love the, the pinks. They just, they blend well, and palette three is just, and it does have some purple in there, so. Okay. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is take another brush, and I want to go in with the color irate, which is the black, because I want to look fierce. So I don't want to be like, well, cutesy, you know, which is pink. I'm wearing um, skull pants, so. So I just dabbed a little bit on. And I'm just going like this with it. Okay, hopefully I'm back, because it broke up and so I stopped what I was doing just in case I had to come back. It's still saying a weak connection, so I don't know why. I'm like right near the, the internet box. So I'm going to blend before I even think to go to the next eye. So I'm blending down with it and in. I'm not going all the way in, but because I just want it to have that look in the in the corner. So, and you should wipe your brushes in between so that the colors don't um, bleed together. I apologize for this internet connection issue because I don't know why it's doing that. It just doesn't make any sense. So that's what I'm going to do there. I'm going to take the irate again and do this side. Let's see if I can do this. back again with the crease brush to blend. And anything here, like you should never have your eyeshadow that goes like, you know, obviously out to there. Um, but you can clean it up. See, like I really could go like about to here. And they have tape that you can use too to give you that line. If you need the help, you know. I haven't gotten, I don't have the tape. I haven't even tried it. But maybe someday. So. And I'm just blending it so that it doesn't um, have such a harsh line. I want the lines to kind of blend like a, almost like an ombre look. And it's okay if you go you know, like, if you mess up, because you can clean it up. 
That's why I'm doing it like this before I get all the rest of my makeup on. And it really is like a <sighs> this internet connection. I'm telling you, I don't understand it today. It's like the wind is blowing, and that's it. So, okay. So I'm gonna leave it like that a minute, and then I want to take my um. There, I have it here. Okay, it's right here. So I'm going to take my um, concealer, Velour. I'm just putting a little bit on my my hand, and I'm going to put a little. Use my concealer brush, just a little bit, and I'm going to go up here. And do it like that. Do something different, you know? And I just kind of follow the the line of my brow. And that's it on that. So then I would take um, got stuff everywhere here. I would just take a brush and just kind of blend it out a little bit. So it blends in with the colors. So this is, is a heavier makeup look. It is more dramatic. And if you need to go back over, you can do that. Sorry, I'm not looking at there. I'm looking at me. Because I'm trying to get it into the... You know, looking at that. So, okay. Now, I'm going to take that brush again. And I'm going to go in with the color Smitten, which is um, like a silvery pink. I'm going to dab in the corners to open up my eyes. Then I'm going to use a little bit up here too. Just to give it a shimmer. This video might be a little bit long because I'm trying to go ahead and you know just see the lighting I think is showing more on this side but And then I go back and blend again. And yes, there's one more color that I'm going to use. And that is the Hopeful. <clears throat> which is the pink. And this one does have sparkle. So what I'm going to do is when you're cream sits a bit. You just want to put a wet your brush a bit and just kind of rub it in there and spoof it back to life. Yes, I said spoof. And I'm not going to use a lot of this. I just want it to have a little bit of pop in the corner here.
and as you can see it's very creamy and it does dry to a powder see how that looks I'm trying not to go, you know, too far up with it. So then, you know, you just kind of so that's how I'm doing that. What you think? See, I kind of dig this look. I can pull it off. I think I can pull it off. You guys, tell me. think it matters. I think as long as you love it, then that's it. I'm trying not to get it clumped, you know. So I'm doing it in small increments. And I have, I think, um, like this eye, I think tears more in the corner so sometimes I have to be careful how I put it because it the tears just kind of wipe it off it's weird so whatever I can't tell or see in the um, camera I'll probably go back and check it You know, when I'm done. That's probably the best I'm going to get this side for now. Like I said later, I will recheck everything. In the mirror, because I can't tell on this side. You know, see, like, it looks like it's not right, but... It could be just the shadow. I don't know. I mean, I don't think that there's a shadow, but there could be. So if I need to add more later, I will I will add more. Let me just let that sit a minute and kind of dry up. Okay, so I'm going to go and do the rest of my makeup, my face makeup. Hopefully, hopefully you guys like this. I don't know. I love the colors. So I'm going to use my puff brush. I call it a puff brush, but it's a powder puff. I just eliminate the powder. <laughs> and I'm going to use um, my chiffon. I think I'm going to just strictly use chiffon today. And um, so you want to empty it out. Make sure it's empty close it back up and shake again and then refill it and then I'll put some one two three four and I'll just do that usually I don't use that much but And then I blend. And if I need anything added, I'll add it. I 
I'm not a professional, you know, um, nothing is ever perfect. I just do the best I can. I do what I, you know, I like. And you know what I did today? I used a little bit of um, primer on my hair. <laughs> like right up here because I had all the flyaways after blow drying my hair. Okay. I move around a lot and I apologize because my, my back hurts. It's been hurting. So I exercise. I've been trying to loosen it. It just, um, I don't know, I think it's probably, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I guess like back cramps, kind of. I get them, you know, back and front, so. Okay, so I did chiffon in the Mineral Touch liquid foundation. I am going to go over it with the powder in chiffon. It's, um, I found it's my favorite color that works best for me. And I'm just going to do a little bit of the powder. I'm going to help set the makeup in and take away some shine. Because I get mostly shiny like in my T-zone. But I do have oily skin. So I just do this everywhere. And I'll post pictures later because I want you guys to see the full, you know, the outfit and the, with my, um, my skull pants. And I have my skull earrings on, which I got at, um, in Tennessee. I was in a, um, in a shop and they sold, um, they were selling them, and they were all like home handmade, so that's why I bought them. Going back with my puff brush and my bronzer. Darken some of this up. Kinds of crazy. So the powder and then the bronze are also kinds of help. It helps set the um the makeup with the shininess and stuff. So I'm gonna use blush. And I'm going to use the color Seductive because it's kind of a darker color. So I want it to be a little bit more fierce. So I just do that. And then I wipe my brush and then I blend it. And that's what I do. I always get the apples. I don't know. I think that was my grandmother used to say stuff like that. I don't know. So let me just fix this hair because it's getting cray cray again. Because it's thinned out a lot. So it doesn't really stay in clips anymore. It doesn't really do much of anything anymore. But like I always say, you you know, you deal with what you got. So now I'm going to take palette three again because I'm going to use irate for my liner. And I am using black, it is black, and I'm using it heav heavily because I want that fierceness. And 
and I'm wetting my brush so I get that that dominant line. This is my favorite effect. We have beautiful eyeliners. Um, we have the liquid liner, but I just I love using it this way with the eyeshadow. For me, it stays on. It stays on better. Not for everybody. I know a lot of people who um, are strictly liquid liners, and that's fine. See, I'm by the window, and you could hear my neighbor with his his motorcycle. He's got a little, um, I guess a rice burner, kind of. Not a Harley. Sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate. I usually don't get a lot of people that pop on to watch live. Hopefully you all catch the replay. So sometimes it kind of feels like I'm talking to myself, but that's okay. Hopefully you can all see this. I don't know if I should play with the wing. Did you guys see that vamp stamp? that you just, it's like you put the ink in it and just stamp it and it gives you an automatic wing. That's crazy. I don't know how good I would, how that would work, but it looks pretty simple. That's probably about as winged as I want to get it. And I connect it a little bit towards the bottom. I don't know. It's just me. It's just a, a preference on how you do it. And again, I might off screen go back and clean it up or add more or, you know, whatever. This is where it gets tricky when you do the um, the liner because you know you want to make sure that your bottom lid is covered already with your um, shadow because if you have to go back over again, that was a hair. If you have to go back over it again with the shadow, then you probably got to go back over it again with the um, liner. And I'm being very meticulous here. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure, you know, that I get it where I want to get it. Like I said, later on I may, may add more of a wing, but for now, I'm going to leave it at that. It's pretty crazy. Wait till you see when I put the um, 3D fibers on, because it's going to look like I have almost like fake, fake lashes. So, 
I'm just trying to let it dry a little bit. So okay, now I'm gonna go in with my gel. Okay, and because I don't want to screw this up, I'm gonna use my um my mirror because I can't see with the with the lighting and I don't want to get it poke an eye out let's put it that way so hopefully you can see me doing this in the it's a big like round mirror I'm not a big fan of like screwing up and then having to take it all off and do it over. So that's why I'm trying to be a little bit more meticulous right now because this is a, a fierce look. It's very um, dark. So I don't want to have to do it over. Okay, so that's one side. Isn't that crazy? Look at the difference. Still says I'm live, so hopefully, I don't even know how long I've been on here. I know Facebook kicks you off after a certain amount of time. Oh, I don't know what is going on here. So, and then I'm going to do my lips. And guess what? I'm doing it bold. I could do it light because everything else is bold, but I want to go full out. Fierce. These really are my favorite colors to do. They come out so pretty. Hopeful is absolutely gorgeous. If you're into the pinks and doing, you know, things like this, then yeah, definitely you need Hopeful. That was in our um, kudos, our custom kudos for August, I believe. It was the Defend Innocence. I normally don't put fibers on the bottom, but I'm just dabbing a little bit. Look at how crazy that is. Whew, I feel like I have spider eyes and I'm not even going heavy. Geez, I think about it now. I hope I don't scare my husband's coworkers. That would be funny. Look, I got a little bit too much fiber here. But that's okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my comb. And you just wipe, you know, comb it out. And that's it for the fibers. Now I'm going to go back with the gel. And I'm going to seal everything in. And then we'll get to the lips. And then you guys can tell me what you think. You think I made the cut for biker chick? punk rock 80s kid maybe I actually did look it up I looked it up online to see what a biker chick makeup would be and pretty much it's very similar to the 80s punk rock it's all really like heavy heavy makeup eyes you know 
So there you go. Notice how we all make funny faces when we apply makeup. That is my dramatic I'm just wiping any um strays that I see. See now in the mirror this side looks fine. So it's got to be the way the screen was looking to me. I just love these colors. Look at that craziness. Just, you know, you know when you see stuff and you just want to fix it up a little bit, but otherwise, there you go. I'm going to take my puff brush and just make sure everything is blended down here. Mix it in. We're women, you know. Well, most of us are women, I think, that are watching. Um, you're going to do it over and over again. You're going to look at yourself. You're going to, you're just going to do that. It's just what we do. We keep double checking to make sure nothing moved. Everything looks good, you know. So, it's what we do because we're women. That's the fun of it. So I'm thinking about, this is concealer, just so you know, my concealer brush, and I'm just kind of fixing up under here in case there was any black. And I am going to go and put a little bit of the, um, the velour under there to just brighten it up. Um, so I wanted to do like a Halloween event I'm in my group page but I'm not good at Halloween makeup so I don't know but okay so that's it for that now we're going to do some lips. So I don't know. If you guys actually watch this and um, want to give me feedback on the Halloween thing. Because I might do it like the day before or something. Because I know everybody's going to be taking their kids trick-or-treating. So. Okay, I wish I had some people on to tell me which one should I use. I have um, Spontaneous and I have Sensual. One is darker than the other. And I can't decide. Maybe I'll use both. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you something nifty. This is my lip brush. Look how pretty that is. Small, look, just small, convenient. Push it up, there's the brush. A nice brush it's a lip brush so I'm gonna use that today to apply my splash liquid lipstick and this one is the color spontaneous so actually you know what let me put this one back here I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this one first this is sensual I'm gonna use this one as a liner I think or try to ombre it and how you do it is you just pull it off of here on the brush that's it and I'm using my mirror it helps give you um, a more controlled line you know a little bit more defined
basically it's thinner, you know, than that. So it's easier to do the line. It also kind of controls the color, um, not the color, the um, over usage of using all that. So, and it's good to blend, like to blend the color. And I had posted. Uh, a tip about using the brush to, to do your you know your lines with the um with the concealer I always pat concealer over my lips so that kind of helps too okay so that was sensual that's the darker Now I'm going to go in with Spontaneous, which is this one, and I'm just wiping my brush off, and I'm going to go over it with that, and I'm using the, the lip brush again. And I do have my mirror, so if I'm not looking there, I'm looking in the mirror. And I'm just mixing the two colors. with the splash because it's very like it's a matte you don't want to have too much um, mixing because it, it will bleed all over it will dry and then it won't move and it's long lasting so you're just kind of wiping off the brush you know So one is more of a purpley pink, and then the other one is a darker, um, I don't know how to explain that color. It's like a dark pink, maybe? I don't know. Now, those of you who've seen my videos, you've seen my struggle with using this. So much easier to use this neater for me. But that's because I have a weird shape, you know. So, those are the colors. What do you think? I might go back a little bit darker with the um, sensual. This brush is a godsend to me. I love it. It helps so much, you know. So I'm just kind of trying to create my own color here, my own look with the colors. They are very similar, 
these two colors. Just this one is just more of a a purple on the purple side, and the other one is more on the pink. So. So naturally the purple is going to be a little bit on the dark on the darker side than the pink is so and that's it you just clean your brush off after that um, it's very simple I'm just wetting it to get most of it off but I'll go back and use like you know soap and stuff to clean it because I don't want to have it mixed later on you know you just take care of your brushes and then look you just they, it closes right back. It's retractable. Love that brush. You could do so much with it. If there's a specific spot that you need to get into, you can. So, easy to do there. Now let's do some brows. And then I'm done. And I apologize for this being so long, but hopefully you um, got some good tips out of it. Or at least enjoyed watching me do something a little bit more fierce. I just have all kinds of things going on here. Let's do this first. Maybe I do need the mirror for this because I just don't want to look like um, Bozo. <laughs> so what this does is it feathers it in by doing this. You're doing like feather strokes and I'm just following the line of my brow and just filling in so that they look thicker and that's it that's all you do and if you messed up you just take a brush with you can do it with some um I can't think of the word right now <laughs> but you could do it with some just a brush and concealer or you can do it with um primer and erase it so hopefully that looks Okay. So I do kind of make a line with it. For this, I will. And then I go in and fill it with the feather strokes. Hopefully you guys can see and hear this. So, and it's not too difficult, you know. Um, this is a little bit more on the dramatic side for me. So I go in with the comb. And this kind of helps soften it a little bit. And it makes the color blend into the hair. If that makes sense. gotta say I give myself credit for being able to do this and um, still try to talk to you 
without screwing it up. Because <laughs> it's definitely something you have to concentrate on. So I'm going to go over it with my gel. And I want to set it in with the gel by doing this and taming any loose hair that's just not wanting to stay, you know. And most of us have that one piece of hair, you know. So hopefully um, I'll be able to get my hair curled and um, it'll look a little bit more, you know, a little bit more, you know, put together. There it looks weird. When I look here, it looks fine. So, and that's it. That is today's um, today's look. This is a matte color, so if you wanted to gloss it up, you could. You could add lip gloss to it, but it's really meant to just be um, matte, a matte finish. So this is my biker look. I told you once I get all with the rest of my get up, I'll look more um, hopefully fierce. I don't know. That's the word I'm looking for. So I hope you enjoyed watching today. I apologize for any weakness connections in and out, that kind of thing. Um, if you liked any of these products that you saw, especially the lip brush or the colors, or if you need help choosing, you know, let me know. I can answer any questions. Uh, my link is above in the description. So you can go um, to that link and that's where you can get these products. So um, I'll be back again soon and I hope you all have a good Thursday and I will see you another day. Thanks.